Hi everyone, Happy New Year's Eve. So today we are just on Market Street. I, I don't know why we decided to do this, but uh, we were kind of like, you know what, let's just get dressed up and go and walk around Market and I don't know, maybe it'll be a good time. There are police around though to make sure people are following guidelines, but yeah, we'll just take you through our night. discuss I don't know expectations for 2021 and how 2020 was for us as individuals where would you like to start off well the bar is set very low for 2021 being better than 2020 <laughs> but hopefully this year we'll have some resolution to the worldwide problem and be able to get back to normal a little bit mm -hmm. but at the same time if you asked me July 1st, 20, July 1st, January 1st, 2020. You always confuse July and January. January. <laughs> if you asked me January 1st, 2020, would I change anything this year? Probably not. Yeah. Because it was probably the best year of my life so far, like even personally. with everything. Yeah. Mm. I would also... The only thing I would have changed is that I would have gone out more first semester of second year. <laughs> because I feel like I could have benefited by going out just a wee little more and being less of a depressive little whatever I was. For me, 2020 was a great time of spiritual development, personal development. I've said this before, but I'm in a really good place now and I feel supported by my friends. I guess the only thing I really want to say about 2021 is that I hope to live it to the fullest with the world letting me do so um, as much as I can and being a bit more spontaneous. I think it's just reminded everybody that they have to live, live in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really want to, fingers crossed, be able to go on vacation by summer. To Italy. <laughs> to Italy. Oh, I want to go so badly. You guys, you don't understand. It's like the nerdiest thing ever, but I really want to stay in Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Robert Browning's house that they lived in in Florence. And it's so, so cool. And I just really, really want to go and stay there for a couple of nights. And plus Italy. Italy, I know, Florence. Like, I really want to go. That's, that's my one. I really want to go. Hopefully if we manifest it, the world is gonna slowly begin to fix itself. But I do have a sinking sensation that it's gonna be around a bit longer than we think it is. I think we're just gonna learn to adapt and adjust. Yeah, I agree. People need to resume some sort of normalcy. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing, at least the best thing that could happen for the UK is a strict lockdown for six weeks, eight weeks, and then we kind of resume our lives. It's because a slapdash sort of. Yeah, um, it's um, plastering over the cracks as they spring is not exactly gonna work. proactive. No, it concerns me how 
we could have avoided a lot of this at the beginning if there had just been a longer lockdown to begin with as opposed to how long Especially was it because Six masks weeks. weren't le- they weren't a mandatory thing here until summertime which is exactly crazy. exactly isn't that mad wasn't it july or june or something that they became mandatory no it was definitely like may okay but still there's me in july again i just love july <laughs> But yeah, no, we've had a very chill night, I would say. I mean, to be fair, me singing and dancing all over town when it's dead. We're literally on Market Street. We right are now. the party. We are the party. Everyone else has gone to bed. Boring losers. Yeah, or they're watching TV. <laughs> I was thinking about this and 2020 has brought a lot of positive things as well as the negative. Like we would have we wouldn't have met. That would have been the biggest tragedy of my life. <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoyed my modules this year. I want to do a, I'm going to film a semester, end of semester review as well, but, and talk about like how my semester was, but I had a really good semester, even with restrictions. Like it was difficult and I would only see people very rarely. And it, I mean, you got to just do what you got to do. I guess. We made it. We made it. (laughs) We absolutely made it. The only other thing I hope for 2021 is to be able to spend more time with people that I love because that's been quite difficult this year. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Random people driving around. (laughs) For no reason at all. It's like the 1950s. Everyone's like driving up the main street. We're bored. Let's drive. Yeah. (laughs) So they're not even honking or doing anything lively. It was a, like a middle-aged couple. Did you see them? Yeah. Yeah, they were like middle-aged. Well, jazz it up a little bit. <laughs> it's New Year. She was wearing like a scarf. Everyone who's passed us in a car has been 110 <laughs> so far. So. Yeah, we said hello to some youths our age. Yeah. Our own age. Four of them. <laughs> It's a real rave out here tonight. Yeah, from like four meters away. Happy New Year! (laughs) Oh, at least we're living, you know. I keep saying I want to write more. I want to write more this year. But in order to write more, I need to live more. I need to experience life. Hopefully that happens. Wink, wink. It (laughs) will. Ooh, whatever do you mean? Oh, please, stop it. (laughs) Anyways, a very happy, happy New Year from Gru and I and... I hope that everyone has a simply marvellous new year, even though it's quite different to how it usually would be. And I hope that 2021 brings a multitude of happiness and health and love and success for everyone. Be good to each other.